Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm Jonathan from Cardiff and Vale College. Um, just a quick run through of what I'm going to do today. Going to um, give a very brief overview of the college and then um, some details of our um, programme, details of the project, strengths and weaknesses, um, shortcomings, and some of the things that we've learned from us that hopefully we can share with you as well that are going to be helpful. Um, okay, so Cardiff and Vale College is a fairly new college um, formed in 2011 from the merger of Barry College and Glan Havron, which is a large college in um, Cardiff. Um, it's, it's now got 12 sites across um, the Vale of Glamorgan and Cardiff, and um, there's, it's quite an ambitious place. It's, um, it's got about £98 million worth of development money that's going to be ploughed into it over the next um, 10 years, £40 million of which is being spent on this um, new site, which is, um, doesn't look that dissimilar from that at the moment, but it, it's not quite as shiny yet. Um, but uh, this is a new sort of central Cardiff site that um, we're going to be moving into. Um, it's got 25,000 students currently, which is about enough to fill this stadium, which is Wigan um, Athletic. I'll talk briefly now about the actual programme that we, we put into place. Um, it's a more able and talented programme, so it was focusing on more able and talented students across the whole college and across both vocational and academic areas. Our experimental aim was to create a college-wide programme that um, promotes and embeds teaching and learning strategies that recognize and challenge more able and, ta and talented um, students. Okay. Um, oops. Now, more able and talented programs tend to work or predominate in, the, in a kind of academic framework. So um, one of the challenges that we, we had was that we've, we, we obviously exist in an FE college, which is incredibly diverse. It's one of its, its great strengths. Um, and tr trying to sort of fit that programme, which, which exists mainly within, as I say, in an academic framework, into this um, very diverse college um, system. Um, what we decided to do was set up um, a pentathlon programme. Thank you to Yale College, by the way, for this image. Um, pentathlon, in that it, it, it was to focus on five key areas, those being ESDGC, um, curriculum Cymraeg, um, ILT, um, numeracy and literacy, and um, it would, it would um, allow both academic and vocational students um, to participate in what, what we had planned to be a kind of Dragon's Den style program that would culminate in a, in a kind of project, um, a presentation that, where they would present and, and kind of get voted and, and kind of win the competition they would have to um, embed these, these five key uh, areas into a very kind of creative program. Um, didn't entirely work like that, and I'll talk, talk about that uh, in, a, in a short while. Um, these were our planned objectives. So number one um, was to firstly recruit and train staff in, in differentiation. Um, then number two was to develop the, the more able and ta talented um, pentathlon program. And then number three was to um, develop a, a, good, a good practice guide in differentiation that we could uh, disseminate to staff and obviously the colleges in the network. Um, number one was met. This was, we, we did indeed train staff um, throughout the college uh, in our compulsory inset program. Number two, the more able and talented pentathlon program didn't work and I'll talk about some of the reasons for that um, in a moment. Um, number three, the Moodle platform um, did, did work and it house, now houses some, some excellent resources that, that are going to hopefully help, uh, help students. Um, one of the sort of key aims und underpinning all of this was um, that we were hoping to increase learner attainment and progression to higher level courses. Now this is something that we're, we're going to be able to test at the end of the year once we've um, got all the data in and we're, we're hoping that we're on, on target for that. Okay. So I'm going to talk about the sort of key strengths of the project. Firstly, the, um, the staff training element was, was very successful, and it stimulated um, work in much, much kind of broader supported learning experiments across the college. Now, this is a, now quite a large-scale project that um, every member of the academic staff is involved with. They're supported by what we call in our college teaching and learning leaders, of, of which I'm one. Uh, other colleges call these positions champions, that kind of thing, but um, they're, they're these supportive kind of coaching roles, but every department is assigned um, a teaching and learning leader. 
um, to help them with their particular supported learning experiments, all based on kind of evidence-based um, teaching methods um, in the classroom, many of which in, in, are to do with the differentiation focused upon in, in, in this particular area, but others are broader um, based on you know, individual staff and departments' um, preferences. The, as I said, the, the more able and talented um, aspect of the, the pentathlon programme specifically didn't, um, didn't actually work in practice. Um, we, we've got a kind of programme written up on paper. Um, now, some of the reasons that this might have happened, one of, one of the reasons was that we were a college that had been going through merger. There was a lot of kind of, um, you know, um, new systems being put into place. Um, one of the, the reasons that, another reason was that we didn't actually get an awful lot of response from tutors submitting their um, more able and talented students to us. Now, perhaps we could um, analyse why that might have been in the first place, but um, it, it wasn't, we didn't have the numbers, basically, to, to, to make that particular part of this project run. Now, the next steps um, are... We're going to continue with the, the differentiation project. Sorry, it's a bit cheesy, isn't it? We're um, going to try to, to run the more able and talented programme. Now that the college systems are kind of in place and the, the merger has fully happened, our current restructure, the second one, is uh, almost finished. Um, we're going to analyse the, the end of year data this year and, and I think that the, this kind of culture of supported learning experiments is really going to, going to take off as the years, years go ahead. And I think if, if I, we can take kind of one, one main major kind of positive um, from, from this experience is, is that, it's that, that, that this um, relatively small amount of money has stimulated um, a culture of, of experimentation in the classroom across the whole college. Okay, and that's me done. Thank you. Thank you.